And please help me welcome to the stage from Atlanta, Georgia, Dan Mangini. Come on. Yeah, baby. Uh, here's the deal, y'all. I do comedy because I have what they call an overactive brain. It don't make me smart. It just causes a lot of fear in my life. And doctors have actually told me that from now on, when I fly, bam, take Xanax. Yeah. <laughs> For those of you that don't know what that drug does, before, when I was on a plane flying through a storm, I would think, oh my gosh, we're all going to die. But now, on a plane in a storm, I look around and say, whoo, thank God I'm not on this plane. <laughs> These people are going to die. <laughs> I'm just going to get my taxes done. <laughs> my parents are proud. I gotta tell you, being on stage is like a dream come true, man. When I was little, I told my parents who were really funny, I was like, Mom, Dad, when I grow up, I wanna be a comedian or a model. So one day, they gave me this huge mirror and said, Son, look, start telling jokes. <laughs> my parents are hilarious, man. I had a good childhood, I really did, but three years ago, Mom and Dad got a divorce. Sad, right? Uh huh. But here's the funny thing they called it quits in their 70s. We're like, What? That's like being 29 years into a 30-year home loan and going, mm, hey, let's refinance. <laughs> that divorce, man, whoo, stressing me out. Whew. I mean, I love my parents, but all I do now all day, every day, is explain to my father how to use his cell phone. <laughs> yeah, I bought a 72-year-old man an iPhone to give him a reason to live. Turns out, just a reason for me not to. <laughs> He sends me four blank text messages a day. <laughs> and if you text him 30 seconds later, your phone rings and he says, Did you call me? <laughs> I think I might kill myself. <laughs> I think some of you are taking me a little too seriously. <laughs> you got to realize up front, I'm a complete idiot. <laughs> Trust me, I'm the kind of guy that lands in Paris, looks out the window and thinks, Wow! That's a huge cell phone tower. <laughs> I wish I was smart, man. Whew, thank God, my best friend, y'all, genius. Korean kid named David Wu. Known him since I was two years old. I will never forget the day we met. Check it out. It was a Tuesday, and I was wearing a Superman costume. Because it was a Tuesday. <laughs> and my dog ran out the front door around the corner, chasing. There he was, petting my puppy. First Asian person my two-year-old brain had ever seen in its entire life. And I thought, wow, I better take this thing home with me. <laughs> 30 seconds later, walking the front door with a dog under one arm, Korean kid under the other, cape flapping in the wind. And my five-year-old brother goes, oh my gosh, how far did you fly? <laughs> my whole family's stupid. <laughs> I tell you, being dumb stresses me out, man, especially at the grocery store. I mean, I love getting food, right? But when I get to the cashier and they're like, Dan, paper or plastic, my brain says, well, if you choose paper, you get home. That's like 12 trips from your car to the kitchen. Plastic, one trip. Because you pop open the trunk and then weave these fingers through 95 handles. Then you lift them. All right, left side, left side. Wait a minute, these bags are lighter. Hold on, let me put the milk over here. Now I'm balanced. Oh my God, how am I going to close my trunk? For me, that 20-second walk to the house, most grueling part of my entire week. I'm mumbling, man, I got to work out, man, I got to work out, man, I got to work out. Finally get to the front door, and it's like, dang it, the keys are in my pocket. <laughs> so you got to put down the bags, unlock the door, pick up the bags, and reweave your fingers. I always miss that one hand. I'll just pray to the Lord your bananas don't fall out. <laughs> By the time I get to the kitchen counter, there's no blood left in my hands hurts to straighten my fingers out and I'm stuck with that kung fu grip for six weeks. Should have chose paper but no it was worth it because we made one trip and now we got bags for our bathroom trash can. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Good night.
Thank you. Thank you. Dan Mangini, folks. Dan Mangini. Yeah. All right.